YouTube, we at the money. There it goes right there. There it goes right there, YouTube. Man. T minus 10 days, boy. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, we, we're gonna try to pull right in between those guys because where we are parked right now, we're blocking the road, so. Let's pull right in between those two. Yeah, y'all seen this truck before? That's the truck I said uh, the owner is wasting the ability of this truck. By hauling Hopper in the oil field. Yeah, that's the truck. Yes, sir. YouTube, YouTube, look at all that money. Look at all that money. All that black gold. And I'm just trying to get a piece, YouTube. I'm just trying to get a piece of that black gold. But damn it, boy. Ooh, that black gold is elusive than a muffle, boy. That black gold is elusive, y'all. That black gold is elusive. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. That black gold is elusive. So right now I'm in Pecos, Texas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know how it is. 100 mile radius, sometimes 120, but we still got to chase the money. We got to chase the money, you two. You know me, I like to tell y'all my damn business for some reason. So. So yesterday I went to bed, technically this morning, I went to bed like 2 o'clock, it was like 1.30, I got up at 6. Yeah. I took my legal break, don't worry. I took my legal break. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't ask me how, but I did it. Don't ask me how, but I did it, you too. But technically speaking, we had a... Maybe four, five hour tops. And I know damn well it wasn't no five hours sleep. Because I was trying to get back on my schedule the last eight days, bro. I be, I be overstepping my schedule. So I would stay on the clock, two, three o'clock in the morning, go to sleep, come back out here like nine, 11 and all that nonsense. I was overstepping my schedule. So I tried to get back in on it. Yesterday, my last load, I delivered, you know, to one of our wells, but once again. Y'all see what I'm doing right now, right? Yeah, we're staging. It's called staging. That's what we're doing right now, YouTube. Mm-hmm. Right now, we're staging. A staging... Staging is a killer of motivation. Staging is a killer of your money. It says killer of your money. So I got on the clock before seven this morning. I'm on my first load. I haven't delivered it yet. The money has not been signed yet. And today is Monday, so if they credit me the load I delivered this morning, 
I guess plus this that would be two loads. I guess if you want to call it that, it'd be a stretch. But let's say that's what they do. That's if I'm able to do two more loads before 12 o'clock. It's three o'clock already. I started at six. If everything was running like it's supposed to, I'm supposed to be going back to the terminal for my third load by now, right? Because I got up at six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. I've been on the clock for nine hours and I'm still on my first load. Hamilton, why are you telling us this? First of all, because your favorite YouTube driver don't. He don't do that. Your favorite YouTube driver only talk to you and tell you things when it's all gravy. You understand? But the guy that you watch every now and then show you what it is, what it's like out here. Head into the well right now. So at this well, because of regulations, blah blah blah, or whatever the agreement is, there can only be two trucks back there at the time. So when one truck come out, the next truck go in. Which is weird because Apache wells don't pay as good as the Pioneer wells, right? Which is the one everybody like to be on. That's why I like to be on the Apache wells because it's boom, boom, boom. That's the usually, that's the move. They need to get rid of this move. Food. They need to send their ass back to Apache to Pioneer. Those CNG trucks are the one effing the game up. Because this load is for, they got nowhere to fuel. They use natural gas. There's nowhere around here for them to fuel. So for them to stay on this well, guys, they're going to have to do one load, maybe two, go drive an hour and a half, go fuel up, and then maybe get a third load. It's not worth it. They need to stick over there at Pioneer and let the slum dogs, let those that came from the gutter, those that came from the trenches, stay on this one, okay? But that's why I always prefer less pay on the, on the Apache wells, man. They pay a little bit less, but they're always moving. But this BS right here, Lord have mercy, boy. So I got here. Hold on, let me, let me turn the camera around. I got here. I got this patch. I ended up spending the night at the staging pad over there, one of our Pioneer wells. Just because if there was no point of me exhausting my hours, it was already one o'clock. I wasn't gonna do another load and even messed up my clock even more, right? So I spent the night over there, got my load from where I was at to the terminal, which is what we called, you guys seen it on the video a whole lot of time, right? From where I was at to there, was about 80 miles, so I drove 80 miles. From there to here is like 110 miles, 90 miles, but not count the least road. That's why it's 110 miles. The least road is a good 12, 15 miles to get here, where we at. And then I got a text. Boom. This pastor, oh, the well is down. That's the problem. They said the well is down. We want you to stay close to the well, but don't go to the well. So we'll be parking on the side of the road. And the whole time I was contemplating making this video I was sitting on the side of the road, but I got distracted with other things, you know. Because I actually had internet at that spot. So I was catching up on videos. Uh, I was doing some, adding some tags on the videos that are already uploaded, but are not public. That's where we are, and that's the truth. If you come to the oil field, you're going to have to deal with this. That's why I'm trying to give it to you raw and uncut. Just like I did when I was OTR, whenever Genesis had death issues, flat tires, I put it all out on the table. That's the same thing you can expect from y'all here in the oil field. I'm not gonna ghost y'all. I'm not gonna only tell you good hap. Nah, nah, cause that ain't life, man. You're not trying to be influence people and show them the sunny side. Y'all gotta see the, the rainy side too, right here. So I was sitting on the road for two hours plus. And then we came in here. See, I got one, two, three, four trucks ahead of me. So only two trucks at a time. So hopefully I'll be out of here by another hour. But then it's going to be damn near five. 
I can probably do one more load here. And then I'm done. And I'm not gonna chase that three today. I'm not chasing that three today, man, because it ain't gonna be worth it. I need a shower because I didn't shower yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So. It's hot than the muffle outside. But yeah, so I'm probably gonna do one more. Hopefully I'll be done by 10, 11. I, I like throwing hours out there, man. It, it sounds ridiculous. But if I come back, I got a stage and do this nonsense again. It's gonna be about 11 when I'm done with that second load, technically third for the day. And uh, we're gonna go to a nice truck stop, take a hot ass shower and go to sleep. That's what we're doing. That's what we're gonna do out here. So, I don't wanna make this a blog, but I wanna put y'all on game. But I'll bring y'all back when we finally make it to the well, all right? Man, big boy finally just came out here, bro. Finally just come, came out here, you two. We finally rolling to the well, man. This is on cut jams right here. Oh boy, better wait for me. He's trying to be impatient, bro. But we be waiting out here for damn that too damn long for me to care about somebody cut anyway. So him, I'm technically supposed to go before him, but you know, team player out here. You know, team player. So I'm, I'm going to let him go on ahead and go ahead of me. You know how that game go. Oh, snap, they cut his ass. Oh, they cut his ass. They cut his ass, you two. All right, so remember, we'll be waiting here for like two freaking three hours. This dude right here came and just cut us off and went straight to the well instead of rolling with the program. Yeah. Yeah, see, good thing I didn't react, bro, because I was going to pull up out here and freaking uh, act a fool out here. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't do it. But it caught his ass. <laughs> Got that boy to buzz a U-tone and keep his ass right there and wait on the big boy. Nah, man, I'm talking. But for real, though, he did try to skip the line. He definitely did try to skip the line. Dang it, phone, phone fell. My bad. Imagine waking up. This is for all the all feel hopeful. This will happen. But imagine waking up 6 a.m., you get your first load, and you're not able to unload that till about six eleven. You know, right now it's six eleven, y'all. It's six freaking eleven. So twelve hours to do one load, y'all. Twelve hours to do one freaking load, and we're cruising. Yeah, we're doing two miles an hour right now. I don't see the point. Of doing too much because what I'm gonna do is I'm taking what I got now. Nah, I can't even do that. Yeah, I might be able to PC to the nearest structure because I'm done. I'm gonna get back on schedule. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get back on my schedule after this one. I'm stopping. We're stopping with one load a day, the lowest load I ever done in the oil field. The lowest amount of load I ever done in the oil field. Yeah, 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 you're damn right. Three miles an hour, baby. We're cruising. We're cruising. Let me put you on the dash real quick. Hopefully, hopefully y'all don't overheat too quick. But yeah, um, I'm gonna take advantage of that. Maybe utilize on the hours I'll be waiting. Once I'm on load, I'm gonna PC to the nearest truck stop and we're gonna stop and call it a day. That's it. Oh my they trying to break me they trying to break me yeah 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 they trying to break me i'm trying to change the image but i mean it me a minute i can't take it no more i'm from the trenches but this is what it's all about baby that black gold black gold when everything is smooth you make a whole lot of money especially for a company driver but you know i'm just talking right now you know, you can say I'm just complaining right now, but I know it comes with the territory. That's all it is. It comes with the territory, y'all. 
it's your oil field job, man. Ain't nothing ever gonna be smooth as butter. But there's only supposed to be two trucks back here now. What's the way up, big fella? What's the way up, big fella? Let's go. And then also preferably, if you can. Come on, bro. What you doing? What you doing? Go. Hey, bro. What channel you on, man? Go over there and bustle you, bro. I'm trying to get his ass on the CB, but he can't. This man. See, this is why when you don't know what you're doing, stop trying to skip the people that been here done that and bought a t-shirt and made it home you know what i'm saying thank you man let's go he could have let he could have let me go forward though he could have let me in let me in front but instead he wanna because i technically got to this destination before him but because we had to stage i backed up and parked behind him originally on the road not where I started the video out, but we were on the road. So, but anyways. They're trying to break me. They're trying to break me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is going to be a lazy ass day, y'all. But we're going to do it. We're going to show it to y'all. Because that's how the game go, because that's real life vlogging out here in the oil field. You're gonna show something, you show everything. Last thing I want you to do is come out here and be like, oh, well, well, Hamilton didn't tell me uh, sometime you gotta wait in the oil field, you gotta wait at the lease rows, you gotta wait at the lease pad, you gotta wait at the staging pad for, for three, four, five hours. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm showing y'all, bro. Y'all got, y'all got to wait for three, four, five hours at the stage of fair. Now, now, if my boy Keontae was here, him and I be chopping it up on the CB. All right, we're gonna stop right here until, until old boy get back, until the frat coordinator get back. That's where we're going to stop. Damn, boy, you ain't stop. Oh, this phone ain't going to stop now. Phone is on strike. Phone is on strike. Boy, I'm going to need you to stop recording, sir, please. Baby, go home. Baby, please come home. Uh. I got beans and bologna. Oh, oh, baby, please come home. I got beans and bologna. I should not be this happy at all. For a mofo that's only going to do one load a day. But it is what it is, man. I think I'm just looking forward to going home, bro. I'm going to make another video, let y'all know how long I've been out here this time. All right? But this is what you got to do when you got goals to achieve, you know? I came I came here to, to get something, achieve something specifically, and I damn near got it. I think uh, I'm a little bit short right now, but by the time I go home, I should be able to handle everything if I choose to do so or when I get back I can hand finish it off so that's gonna be for another video we're looking rough that headline do with the boy no justice by I'm thinking about either relocking the dreads or what I'm, I'm gonna just keep the fro and we're gonna bring the braids back. Oh yeah, we here, yeah, here. Yeah. We're going back to the 2000s, baby. Yeah, yeah, the 2010s, yeah. Bring them braids back, bye. We're almost there, we're almost there though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
And I ain't trying to hear shit from nobody either with y'all bald headed asses. Ooh, I dare somebody go after me once I hit the, once I hit y'all up with them braids. All right, enough of this nonsense. All right, there we go. If somebody go after me, man, when I eat y'all up with them braids on YouTube, just so y'all know, I'll be ready for that roast fest, man. Because I know there's somebody out there that got two hair on his head and he's, he can't wait. He can't wait to drop a roast on the kid. I got your ass. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Baby, please come home. I got beans and bologna. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. The crazy thing is the nearest truck stop is like 50 something miles away. So either I'm going to be able to utilize on the hours I'll be waiting or it's going to be pointless, but we're still going to try. All right, man. So right now, all we're doing is we're lining up with the scale and get right behind this man. So all we got to do is pull straight in. That's all we got to do. Oof. Yeah, we're out here looking rough, boy. Looking rough. Ooh. Yeah, they'll go right there. Just get right in line with them. I've been here, this is my third time since this where I started, y'all, and uh, it's getting more and more complicated like a mofo, but I guess that's just what I'm going to have to deal with till I go home. It's just what I'm going to have to deal with till I get home. Yeah, that's the scale, so pretty much we had to go bust a U-turn, lined up, boom, get behind this mofo, and get ready for that black gold right there. Having a good day. Anyways, we'll be back. We're actually getting unloaded. We're finally on the scale. So I uh I just sent in a set of demands. I'ma wait on text from dispatch and see if they're gonna um, obey my demands, otherwise I'm done. I'm done for the day, man. I mean it's nothing personal, you know, but 12 hours for one load is long. That's a long ass day. And if I have to run and do another one, that means I ain't gonna get unloaded until another 12 hours. So that means I would have been on the clock for 24 hours. See, that's the thing about this oil field game. You can legally be on the clock for more than 24 hours out here because you're out here BSing, you know? So, yeah, 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 yeah. But if they, but you know, if they reach my my list of demands, then we're probably gonna do one more load. But it's gonna be at the other well, not this well. We're not coming to this one right now. Mm -mm, not the, mm -mm, mm -mm. So pretty much, I guess that's it. Oh, uh, somebody not. Oh no. Okay, the DP attention. There you go. I forgot I'm the only one back there. That's supposed to be one in, one out, another one coming. So now. So now imagine doing that, right? And there's 24 trucks out here. Only two trucks in at one time. It would be crazy. But yeah. They all look all the way. Yeah, bust the circle over there. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I hope he's not. Okay, all right, that's good. I thought he was going to go in the field and bust a U-turn over there. I'm like, no, 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 right there. There you go. He went to the right place. He went to the right place. A lot a lot of truckers, this, this is the first time at this location. I've been here three times, so... It's a little bit different for me, so 
Regardless of how long we wait at the well, regardless how he was the one that tried to skip, regardless of all that, bro, we still got to look out for each other. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we are representatives of each other, the company, the plantation. And if the plantation ain't getting to the money, we ain't getting to the money. You know what I'm saying? So we got to look out. But it looks like he got it, though. He got it, yeah. That's all he got to do. Go back there, both of you, and wait on me. Anyways, folks. I think that's gonna be about it, cause this one gonna be a blog anyway. I just wanted somebody to talk to you too. Hey, I appreciate yeah, this free therapy, baby. But if you're coming out here in the oil field, you gotta expect this stuff that I'm putting on these videos, the complaints I put on these videos, cause these are things that are gonna go through. Now, I will tell you one thing: if you wanna come to the plantation, we just started hiring, right? So, read in the description. The only thing I've been asking is this. We don't do refer bonus, but reach out to me. I put in some words for you. I give you some numbers. Call them. And if you do get hired, you come here and tell them for me to train you, man. Because I felt like I owe you just that. Let me train you how to get to this money. Let me train you the do's and the don'ts. One that actually going to put some money in your pocket. Otherwise, you're going to come out here making what well, some people that may come out here getting $600, $1,000 a week. Because it's possible if you don't know the right move. Ah, uh, he's closing the lid. So that means we're about to roll out. Mm, mm -mm. I ain't going to do that to y'all. Hold on, come back out. I'm not going to do that to y'all. You too. I ain't going to do that to y'all. Um, this is like two days later. Prior to majority of this video, you're going to see. Y'all don't know where we're at now. Y'all know where I'm at. <laughs> Stop playing. Y'all know where I'm at. Stop the cat. Bye. We're back at the same spot. We're back again, once again, like we're done time and time again, baby. The only difference is today we're doing one little recording of the day because I'm trying to get inside my time slot. I've be, I be preaching that for a while now, man. Woke up this morning, took a shower, and we're back to sweating the game. Yeah, no doubt. Woke up this morning, took a shower. Now we're back to sweating again. Today been crazy, y'all. I woke up on the BS. Off the top. On the BS. Off the top, you two. I got up. I hit on dispatch. They said, go on ahead and drive to where you got to drive to pick up. At the terminal, I said, cool, whoop you do. Let's go. We drove. We said at the spot, we had the stage wide. Because apparently this mofo right here. Apparently this mofo right here went down, y'all. Uh-huh. It went down. Yeah, yeah, black gold, baby. The black gold. Yes, sir. I here at the money. Day in day out, man. That's what I would be trying to be doing. Day in and day out. If they just get this right. They just gotta get it right, you two. Baby, y'all know who I am. The dark skin done data. Mr. State to State, coast to coast. Come on, man. If anybody else gonna have to wait, don't let it be the guy that go away morning to morning, dawn to dawn, day after day, getting it in, because you know he got to get that green to get in between. So anyways, I went into the terminal pickup, which I already showed you what the terminal is. That's where we pick up the frag sign X, Y, and Z. I, I waited on the side of the damn road for four hours because this mofo right here was supposedly down, right? So we came in. Now we got to get, you know, now we got to stay posted on the road again. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, at this point, technically it's 8.33 right now. My time frame, I'm supposed to be off the clock by 8. That way I can come in at 5 o'clock in the morning to roll. Guess what? Once this is on, once this is unloaded, we're going to haul ass to a truck stop and we're calling it a day, man. We're calling it a day. So I'm hoping to be off the clock by 11 o'clock. By 11 o'clock. That way I can come in at 5 or 6 o'clock and actually do a full day of work. We already booked the flight to the crib. 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We out here missing the Caucasian queen like a mofo boy. I'ma have to make a whole video on how long I've been here on this rotation so y'all can understand. But yeah, I just wanna wanna check in there, check up on my OTR folks. I'm tempted to go live, man, but I don't know how y'all gonna act if I go live. Are y'all gonna know how to act if I go live right now? I'm gonna think about it, man. But yeah, you too. So we out here. So now the way we're doing it is it's one truck at a time at the well. You know, because the well, the drilling site, there's so many components having to dance at once. You know what I'm saying? So you cannot block the road. We can't block the road. So we just been one in, one out, one in, one out. But they messed up by splitting this site. We, we, with another company no right now we're splitting with conway which you want to hear more about them let me know but yeah they used to do all nomadic but this mofo went down to hop about them too man they, they just are his slanging left and right boy slanging left and right anyways yeah that's where we are right now folks i'm gonna go i might go live why not because i'm just sitting here i ain't doing nothing i ain't doing nothing 